Have you ever driven with a GPS system and right when you turn you come across a traffic signal? How about going outside to play with Nerf guns on a hot summer day? Or maybe leave your nice centralized heated house on a winter day to go catch the latest 3D movie? Well, if you can relate, you have come into contact with an invention made by a black person and I bet you didn't even know. Today we're going to dive into the five masterminds behind these inventions and how they came up with their brilliant ideas. If you enjoy learning about hidden histories and want to follow the footprints of melanated individuals, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss an upload. Now, let's get into it. Garrett Morgan, born in 1877, was an African-American inventor and entrepreneur. Despite facing many challenges due to racial discrimination, his unwavering determination led to the creation of an invention that would change the world. As a young man, Garrett Morgan observed the chaotic and hazardous traffic conditions of his time. I mean, the streets were filled with horse-drawn carriages, automobiles, bicycles, pedestrians, and this led to frequent accidents and traffic jams. He was determined to find a solution to prevent accidents and ease traffic congestion. I mean, imagine going down a busy four-way street with no traffic signals. That's the definition of every man for themselves. And me personally, I just closed my eyes and hit the gas pedal. In 1923, Garrett Morgan patented his most significant invention, the three position traffic signal, which, fun fact, were manually operated, unlike the automated signals we have today. This invention provided clear and coordinated signals to regulate traffic, giving drivers and pedestrians specific instructions on when to stop and go. This innovative device became the precursor to the modern traffic signal systems we see today. Red, yellow, and green light. The introduction of Garrett Morgan's traffic signal brought a dramatic reduction in accidents and improved traffic flow at intersections. With this revolutionary device, drivers and pedestrians gained the confidence to navigate intersections more safely and efficiently. A quote from Garrett Morgan reads, I don't care what I invented. My greatest joy is in knowing that the products of my brains are serving my fellow man. Talk about a person who genuinely cares for others. His invention has become an indispensable part of urban infrastructure worldwide. Garrett Morgan's invention gained recognition and respect from various communities. So the next time you're out there, look, I know it's tempting to zoom through that yellow almost red light, but just one time, hit the brakes and prepare to stop for the red light. But wait, you're on a road trip and have the GPS hooked up on your phone. You can thank Gladys West for contributing to getting to where you need to go. If you know, you know, GPS stands for Global Positioning System. Gladys West is an African-American mathematician and trailblazer that has left a mark on modern technology through her exceptional contributions to the development of the GPS. Born in Virginia in the 1930s, Gladys' love for mathematics and her dedication to education set her on a path of achievement that would lead to incredible breakthroughs. Despite facing challenges and prejudice like every black inventor I'll talk about today, Gladys's unwavering determination led her to pursue higher education, earning a scholarship to Virginia State College, now university, and excelling in mathematics and the science department. By the 1950s, Gladys West joined the U.S. Navy, becoming one of only a few black female mathematicians employed by the military, called Project Apollo, which aimed to precisely determine the geodetic data required for space missions. So fast forward to the 1960s and 70s, Gladys West played a pivotal role in the development of the GPS, an ambitious project that aimed to provide accurate global positioning and navigation. Her complex calculations were instrumental in modeling the irregularities of Earth's shape and gravitational field, which were essential for the accuracy of the GPS. So by the 1990s, 
the GPS became fully operational and its impact on our daily lives was immense. Thanks to Gladys West's groundbreaking work, the GPS not only revolutionized navigations for individuals, but also transformed industries such as aviation, shipping, agriculture, and emergency services. Wow. Sometimes I make one wrong turn and end up in the Pacific Ocean. Thankfully, I have a GPS ready to put me back on track. Now, despite her pioneering contributions, Gladys West's work remained largely unknown for many years, but recently her remarkable story has finally come to light and her legacy as a key figure in GPS technology is now celebrated and appreciated. Gladys West's achievements have not only shaped modern technology, but has also inspired countless young minds, especially young women, to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Before we move on, I'll leave you with her words of advice. Perseverance is key to turning dreams into reality. Keep pushing forward and never stop learning. Alice H. Parker is another woman ahead of her time whose brilliance changed the face of home heating forever. Born in 1895, Alice grew up in a time where heating homes was far from efficient. This is like, grab two sticks, rub them together, and hopefully a fire would spark error. <laughs> Traditional methods like fireplaces and stoves were not only laborious, but also posed safety risks. This spurred Alice's determination to find a better solution to keep homes warm and comfortable. In 1919, Alice had a breakthrough idea that would change the way we think about home heating. She conceptualized a centralized heating system that could distribute warmth efficiently and evenly throughout a house. So when you get inside from those freezing single digit weather and run to the heat button, think of Alice. Unlike the conventional methods that required individual heating sources in each room, Alice's design aimed to centralize the heating process. Alice H. Parker's central heating system utilized natural gas as the fuel source to generate heat. Now this design involved a furnace located in a centralized location within the house. From the furnace, hot air or steam was distributed through ducts or pipes to different rooms, providing a comfortable and uniform temperature. Does that sound familiar? Here's what Alice has to say. Never underestimate the power of your ideas. The simplest inventions can have the most significant impact on society. Alice's invention of the central heating system transformed the way we heat our homes. It offered convenience, efficiency, and improved safety, making it a game changer in residential heating. Her invention not only improved the quality of life for millions, but also set a precedent for future innovations in home comfort and energy efficiency. Okay, on to Lonnie G. Johnson. He was an engineer whose passion for science and curiosity led him to one of the most significant contributions to having fun as a child, the Nerf gun. Growing up in Mobile, Alabama, Lonnie's fascination with science and engineering began at an early age. It led him to dismantle and tinker with household items, much to the surprise of his family. Little did anyone know that young Lonnie's boundless curiosity would eventually shape the future. In the late 1980s, Lonnie G. Johnson had an aha moment while working on a project. The Nerf Gun, an iconic toy loved by children and adults alike. I mean, I know I love Nerf guns, but it wasn't just a toy. The impact of Lonnie G. Johnson's invention has been immense, with Nerf guns becoming a cultural phenomenon and a staple of playrooms worldwide. Long story short, this toy brand is here to stay. Lonnie says, innovation is fueled by curiosity and the desire to solve problems. Embrace failure as a stepping stone to success. Lonnie G. Johnson is still alive today and his legacy lives on through the continued success and popularity of the Nerf brand. I mean, you see it in a lot of retail stores. As new generations of children embrace the joy of Nerf play, Lonnie's invention continues to inspire imagination and creativity in young minds worldwide. Last but certainly not least, 
Valerie Thomas was a scientist whose creativity and innovation has touched countless lives with the illusion transmitters, which by the way, sounds like a magic trick or like a Harry Potter spell or something. Anyway, Valerie's journey into the world of science began at a young age driven by her passion for books and how things work. Her love for science and determination led her to pursue higher education in physics eventually landing her a position at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. It was during her time at NASA that Valerie had a groundbreaking idea that would change the way we perceive visual technology forever. Valerie envisioned an apparatus that could create three-dimensional images using optical technology, a concept that seems straight out of science fiction I mean, just unimaginable during that time. Valerie Thomas' invention, known as the illusion transmitter, utilized a technique called retinal persistence to create the illusion of 3D images. By rapidly flipping between two images, the illusion transmitter tricked the human brain into perceiving a 3D visual. We've all been lied to, people. Our brains are getting tricked. <laughs> This opened up a world of possibilities for visual communication. Valerie Thomas' invention was not only groundbreaking in its own right, but it also laid the foundation for modern visual technologies, including 3D imaging and virtual reality. Her visionary invention sparked a revolution in the world of visual technology, impacting industries ranging from entertainment to medical imaging. The legacy of Valerie Thomas and her illusion transmitter lives on to this day as we continue to witness advancements in visual technology that owe their roots to her pioneering work. If you found this exploration of innovation and invention fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening stories from Black History. Until next time, keep seeking knowledge and exploring the untold histories that shape our world. Thank you for joining. And as always, follow me on this journey to track the melanated footprints.